percent on that. But let's you know, let's start it up, you know, and see how it does. That's a teach pendant, very nice teach pendant for it. I will really uh, pre-wrote uh, pre uh, a program, you know, on that. A little bit, you know, uh, that's very easy, you know, programming. I have to tell you the truth, I like a little bit more, you know, the easier it's uh, programming on uh, Motoman uh, or Yaskawa robots. Uh, maybe that's, you know, something you know, I have to get used to the Fanuk. But, uh, but I, you know, I like the like a Nachi robot or, uh, or Motoman Yaskawa, I think I'm uh, more used to that. But there it is, you know, it came up very nice and let's see, maybe we can just, you know, start it up with a cycle start right here. It should go in our old program. There it goes, turn on all the drives. And I have, you know, the right now it's uh, running at 20%. We can speed it up a little bit, maybe. Let's go with here. Let's go to our menus. Utilities. I have just one hand, so. Let's go next. And let's go edit. Yeah, we have a 20% fine. And there's a joint 10% on joint override and 20% we brought it to 1% so that's why it's, uh, it's running uh, this slow. We, I'm gonna speed it up a little. Let's try maybe a percent up. Joint 15. Yeah, there it goes. But we just, you know, override it. Uh, we just override it, you know, for a 20% fine. And we need 50% of 20% fine on that. But you know, it moves very nice, you know, smooth movements. And it's a huge robot, big one, big one. It's got, I think, uh, I don't remember, you know, the specs, you know, too well, but I think it's 150 kilograms, uh, it's minimum for that. It's kind of a big print, so uh, if you have like loading, loading situation, you know, for that, uh, you want to load uh, maybe a parts, engine parts, you know, or whatever parts to a machine, this will be perfect for it. And you can see on the end of it, it has like a special attachment, actually I think it was made by Fanuc. And we have like an arm which, you know, fits in there also. You know, the arm which fits in there, you know, and uh, like the big fixture. And maybe you can use it, you know, up to your own needs. And it comes with uh, two uh, valves on top, two, um, two air valves. And these are, you know, going uh, two ways, so it will go... Uh, close open one tool and close open uh, another tool on that and we're gonna give you um, we're gonna give you the attachment also to it you know which is gonna be up front big attachment and you can uh, you can uh, modify it yourself if you have any kind of like handling operation for this robot so yeah, like you can see it's uh, it's running uh, very nice and smooth I'm gonna go out a little bit right here so you can see it uh, the whole whole motion and actually the rack for it, if you want, you know, the rack right here, uh, we can uh, ship you the rack, it's not a problem. Or uh, maybe um, if you don't want the rack, you know, uh, we're just going to put, we can put the one box on top of the other and uh, palletize it for you. And it is ready right now, uh, you know, everything, uh, it's tested on it, you know, uh, greased out and everything. Like you can see, it, it's original Fanuc paint, I think they painted a little bit on the bottom, uh, just, you know, on the bottom, uh, bottom uh, gray. They painted it before, and uh, we just uh, used uh, used uh, you know a little bit of a degreaser, you know, and uh, and rags, and just you know dusted it off. So it was very good and a well maintained unit. You know, it didn't work in like a very dirty environment or anything. Also, the shipping brackets for it, which go on the side right here, mount on the side, we have it, and we'll uh, attach it to the robot while uh, you know on shipment and to uh, save you some hassle. We have also the bigger bottom plate that's called the mounting plate. So the robot will mount to the mounting plate and mounting plate it's, it's much bigger, you know, it weighs probably like uh, 500 kilograms and uh, 500 kilograms, yeah, so we'll, we'll have to, you know, keep in mind on the freight. I can maybe try to speed it up a little bit more also, so you see, you see it a little bit faster. And I'm running, you know, I'm running on 20% fine right here, like you can see. On it, it's 20% fine. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna focus it here. Yeah, it runs on 20% fine right now, that's what are my emotions on that. And it's still overrided to 40%. So uh, we have 40% of 20, of 20% 20 speed right now. We go up a little bit on the, 
up to 40, 45, 55. So right now we have 60% of a 20% uh, fine uh, movement on that. I don't want to go too fast with it. I'm, you know, afraid, you know, my two, you know, hollow bolts, it won't, you know, they won't hold it. So, so right now it runs at 10% of its, uh, of its uh, maximum speed. So it's very, very fast robot, like all the Fanuc robots. They're fast and ready, ready to be programmed, you know, by you, and uh, ready, ready, you know, to be put into work. Very nice, quiet unit, you know. I uh, a very nice shape, very nice shape. It actually date of production of it. It's 19, uh, uh, 1997, I think 12, 1997. We have it here on the box somewhere. Let's see if we could see it. Uh, the date on this one it's 1997-03. 1997-03. So it's a 1997 robot, you know, not that old. Uh, you know, very good shape. As you can see, it all running, you know, everything, so you don't have to worry uh, that you get uh, something not working. And we'll get, you know, the shipping brackets to it and the mounting plate also on the bottom. And, uh, you know, attachment for a... Uh, Attachment for a uh, for an arm on, on a, for a loading arm, and maybe you know we can uh, put a, you know put the pictures on that. And right now this one is actually running at 10 percent of its capacity, so 10 percent speed. I won't run it you know faster because I'm afraid you know uh, this is pretty heavy. I have only two hollow anchors you know uh, on a narrow base right now, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit afraid you know it's gonna fly off. But all the motions right now, the X, uh, the, all the six motions, they're all uh, running right now. And the very cool features, you know, on this controller, you know, the, I don't know, people, some, some of you are, you know, more familiar than me with RJ2. But, you know, the programming, it's, it's uh, the, especially the input-output functions, you know, you just choose it, you put the 0, 1, 0, 1, whatever you want and whichever output input you want, so it's very easy to integrate with a, with a, with a machine. And it's very, very nice. And right now, again, it runs at 10% of its uh, full speed. And that's a controller for it, teach pendant, and, uh, and a box with drives and a computer. It's very, very, very nice unit. I'm gonna maybe catch more angles from here. So you can see all the motions. And of course for shipping, you know, uh, the separation of it is very, very easy because the, the arm goes, you know, the, the manipulator goes uh, separate and they control the electronics, the computer goes separate. And the cables, you know, they're, they're right on a, right here on the bottom, on the bottom base. So easy to separate and easy to ship. And while, you know, it's in setup like this, we already replaced the, replaced the batteries on that also. So you have new batteries in there for, uh, for uh, pulse colors, the absolute pulse colors, you know, in the motors. So uh, it's got position, it is calibrated. And uh, when, you do, when you receive it, you can just, you know, plug it in and start uh, setting it up. So it's all greased up and, and uh, ready to go. So uh, enjoy, uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, enjoy bidding on it. And uh, thank you so much and I uh, hope uh, we do business in the future. Thank you.